Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, Gabriela. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Nice to have you here, Gabriela. And hello, Ivania. How are you? Hi, Miss. I'm great. Amazing. Nice to have you here, Ivania. And hello, Bane. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Amazing. Nice to have you here, Bane. And let's see. Let's wait just one minute for the others. And then we are going to start. Hello, Manuel. Welcome. How are you today, Manuel? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to have you here, Manuel. And hello, Karina. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How are you today? I'm great. Nice to have you here, Karina. And thank you for joining, guys. Thank you for being on time. Today, we have a speaking class. So, try to speak as much as possible so you can practice. And today, we are going to start sharing some recommendations. So, in this activity, I'm going to show you a card like this. And you are going to give me one recommendation. Let me give you the example. Look at this. My shoulders, my shoulders hurt. So, my recommendation is you should rest. You should rest. That is my recommendation. Rest, like take a nap maybe. And that is going to help your shoulders. So that is just one example. You can give any recommendation that you have. So let's begin with Manuel. Let's see, Manuel. I have a toothache, pain here in my tooth. What is your recommendation, Manuel? Uh, you should visit a dentist. A dentist. Amazing recommendation, Manuel. You should be visit a dentist. Very good. Now, this next one is going to be for Bane. Bane, my foot hurts, Bane. What should I do? What is your recommendation? Uh... Ah, ya se me olvidó cómo se dice que tome analgésico. Very good. You can say, you should, let's see, you should take a painkiller. You should take a painkiller. A painkiller. Very good, Vanessa. <laughs> Great recommendation, like Dolo Neurovion, right? For example, and that is going to help. Now look at this one. We have this one for Karina. Karina, I have a pain in my knee, Karina. What is your recommendation? You should rest for one day. Very good. Great recommendation. You should rest. Now, let's see. Gabriela, this one is for you. Let's see. I have a headache, Gabriela. What is your recommendation? You should take uh, aspirin. Aspirin, very good. That's true. Aspirin. Now this one is for Ivania. Ivania, I have a back ache. What is your recommendation, Ivania? Mm, did you see the doctor? Very good. Amazing recommendation, and thank you guys. You did a very good job. Now, we are going to move on with another activity. Just give me one second. Okay, let me show you the next activity. So let's see, we are going to do just one more, just one more round. And let's begin once again with Manuel. I have a stomach ache. What is your recommendation, Manuel? You 
your usual uh, usual t uh, two two things. One you should uh, drink a uh, alka seltzer. Mm -hmm, nice. And another uh, you should to go to the doctor because uh, you have a um, lot of problems. Very good, Manuel. Amazing recommendations. You should drink Alka-Seltzer and then you should visit the doctor. Very good. Now, once again, Bane, I have a sore throat. What is your recommendation, man? I have a sore throat. Uh, uh, Sairu, creo que es que tome uh, jarabe para la tos, algo así. Mm -hmm. Sairu, Very... uh -huh. Great. That is a great recommendation for the throat. Very good, Vanem. Mm -hmm. Now this one is going to be for Karina. I have an earache. Karina, what is your recommendation? Uh, I have a runny nose. Is this the, the question? Yes, let's go with this one. I have a runny uh, nose. What is your recommendation? You should visit the doctor or you should drink syrup? Syrup, very good. Very good. Amazing recommendation. And now we are done with this activity, guys. Now let's continue. So since today we have a speaking class, we are going to learn some, some vocabulary. So welcome, Jasmine. In the vocabulary, help me read this, this one, Jasmine, please. Hell. Is the health problems mm -hmm. health problems mm -hmm. this what's question what's the matter there the I have amazing job Jasmine so when you have a health problem when when other people have health problems you can ask what's wrong what's the matter and then they can tell you I have Asthma, for example. I have asthma. So, help me read the vocabulary. Let's go with Manuel. Can you help me read the first row? The first problems right here. Okay. Asthma, a backish, a broken leg, a cold. A cold. Very good. Just this one, Manuel. A back, eight. Back eight. Very good. So every Back time eight. you very good. Every time you see these words, H so escribe así. You pronounce it like this A and A is like saying pain. It's it's a synonym. So a back ache, it means that I have pain in my back. Pain. Now pain. let's see. The second row. Let's go with Marlene. Welcome, Marlene. Can you help me read? These last two. These last four, sorry. Hello, teacher. Hello, Madeline. Repeat, please. Yes, can you help me read these health problems? Okay, okay. health problems. What's wrong? I have uh, the four. Yes, these words. I have a cold. Very good. Oh, sorry. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I have a call. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, this last four. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have an um, ear itch. Ear eight, like this. Ear eight. Ear eight. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
A fever? A fever? Mm -hmm. The flu? The flu. Very good. Thank you, Marlene, for helping me read. So, these are some health problems, and let's practice. I'm going to ask you, what's wrong? And you give me one example with this vocabulary. So, let me ask, let's see, let me ask Karina. Karina, what's the matter? Give me one example using this. What is the matter? Okay. Uh, what is the matter? A fever. Okay, so to give the, what is the matter? That is the question. To give the answer, you can tell me. I have? Okay, I have a fever. A fever. Very good, Karina. Now, another example. Let me ask. I have a, a cough. A cough. Very good, Karina. Now, let me ask Ivania. Ivania, what's wrong, Ivania? Give me two examples. Um, I have um, a broken leg and I have an earache. Very good. I have a broken leg or you can say I have an earache. Very good, Ivania. Amazing example. So this is how you can respond to these questions, guys. Do you have any, any doubt or everything is clear? Okay, great. So if you don't have a question, let's continue yeah. with, the, tell the, me, Manai. Sorry, sorry. Uh, for to ask, I have um, the same, the same, for example, for, uh, I can use, uh, I have uh, that, that so, that's a question. Yes. The two questions, you um, they are basically the same. What's wrong or what's the matter? And this is the answer that you can give. I have asthma, Always. for example. Always. Uh, yes. We use, I have. Ah, okay. That's clear. Yes. yes. Thank you for asking. You can say, I have a backache. I have a cold or any, any health problems that you can have. So look at this. We have more examples. And in this one, let me ask. Juan Antonio, can you help me read Juan Antonio this four? These four illnesses right here. Juan Antonio, can you help me read please? These ones. These four. Hello. Hello, can you help me read these four words? Uh, yeah. A headache. Headache. Uh, a headache. Headache. Very good. Headache. Mm -hmm. the, measles. the measles. The measles. The measles. A rash. A rash. Very good, Juan Antonio. Thank you for helping me read. And you can see right in the pictures, what are these problems? Headache, heartburn is when you have indigestion, right? And maybe you can drink Pepto-Bismol when you have this. You feel something in your stomach. Or the measles, look at the kid, or a rash, right? Look at the man, he has like a red area on the skin. And now we have these four. And in these other four, let me ask, Sarai, can you help me read the last four, please? Sure. Tell me, Juan Antonio. Eso de mi, de... Mi es como... Es como alergia o que es alpullido. ¿Qué tipo? Um, the measles, it's like... Rubiola. Es como rubiola or... Is... Yes, rubiola or sarampión. I don't think. Creo que como ya... varicela. Perdón, será como varicela. Mm, varicela tiene otro nombre. Varicela es chicken. Tiene un nombre, a weird name. 
it has, let me remember, it's like chicken pox. Just let me, let me make sure. Déjeme asegurarme. Yes, varicela is chicken pox. Yes, I, I made sure. So this would be varicela. Varicela is chicken pox. But the measles, the measles would be like rubeola. But it's similar, right? Varicela and, and rubeola, they are kind of similar. But chicken pox is varicela and then the measles is like rubeola. Okay. Hey, thank you for asking, guys. And now let's practice once again. Using this vocabulary, let me ask Jasmine, Jasmine, what's wrong? What's wrong? And you can say, I have. I have. Mm -hmm. Any word from the vocabulary? You can say have a headache. Mm -hmm. Just one example. Okay, don't worry. Let me ask. Let's see, Gabriela, what's the matter? What's the matter, Gabriela? You can say, I have. I have a stomachache. A stomachache. Very good, Gabriela. A stomachache. And now, guys, you can see yeah. in the pictures. Tell me. What is different stomachache and second? Stomachache. Um, oh. Let me... So it's the same thing, it's the same meaning, but in the US, in the United States, the word is joint. And in in England, in England, they separate the word. Hmm? Uh, okay. That is the only difference. So this is American English and this one is British. That's why. That's but it's the same, the same meaning. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking, very good. And now here we have, you already know this one, but let's let's read this, this structure. Let me see, Anna, welcome Anna. Can you help me read this one? Anna can die, this structure. A mí me dijo, teacher. Yes, Ana. <laughs> Van, estoy. <laughs> ah, ah, no. Es que casi no oigo por la lluvia. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Then help me, Manny. Help me read. Okay. Pronoun plus have has eh, plus and, uh, and eh, plus health problem. Health problem. Very good, Bennett. Thank you for helping me read. So, like in the examples, guys, you can say, look at these. The examples, let's go with Sarai. Can you help me read these two examples? Sarai, please. Thank you. A little bit, Sarai. Mm -hmm. Ahora sí, se escucha super bien. Okay. Uh, I have a headache. Mm -hmm. It can come very fast because he has asthma. He has asthma. Very asthma. good, Sarai. Very good. And as you can see, guys, in this one, I have, and then the health problem. And in this one, remember, when we are talking about he, let me ask. Ana, Ana can drive. When I say he, do I say he has or he have asthma, Anna? Uh, 
I know what this. He has. He has. Very good. And why, Anna? Why do I use has and not have? Because it's third person. Third person. Very good, Anna. That is correct. So in this case, he has asthma or she has a headache. Okay, depends on the pronoun. So do you have any question with this one or everything fine? Everything clear. Okay, thank you, Manuel. So if everything clear, look at this. We have some expressions that you can use to give recommendations. And in the recommendations, let me ask Karina, can you help me read the first two recommendations right here? How do you the recommendation about how to cover? You should take the medication. Medications? Mm -hmm. Sí. Teacher, for the moment, it's running very strong, but I said. It's okay, Karina, don't worry. Okay. Teacher, take antibiotics for eight days before the two extraction. Extraction. You should drink a whole cup. You should take vitamin vitamin C, you should rest, and you should take a painkiller. A painkiller. Very good, Karina. Thank you for helping me read. So these are some recommendations, guys, that you can say when somebody is sick, right? For example, drink, drink a hot soup. If you have a cold, you're like, <clears throat> you have a problem, you can drink hot soup or take vitamin, vitamin C, right? Or maybe take a painkiller. If you have a backache, you should take a painkiller. Now, after these recommendations, we are going to listen to an audio. Don't worry, Jasmine. Don't worry. Javi, el mensaje, Jasmine. It's okay. So, in this one, guys, I'm going to play the audio and you are going to help me find the correct answer, okay? People are describing how they feel. So we are going to circle the problem. What's the matter, okay? These problems. So the first one is going to be for Ivania. So let's begin with Ivania. Number one is for you, Ivania. Let's play it. People are describing how they feel. Listen and circle the problem. One. I feel terrible today. I ate too much last night and my stomach doesn't feel well at all. You should take something for it. What do you think, Ivania? What is the problem? What's the matter? An upset the stomach. Very good. An upset stomach because he ate too much. Very good, Ivania. That is correct. Now, number two is for Jasmine. So get ready, Jasmine. Number two is for you. Let's play it. Two. This pain in my head is terrible. Let me get you some aspirin. Thanks. That's just what I need. So, number two, what Three. do you think? A headache. Very good. A headache, right? Pain in the head. Now, number three is for, let's go with Gabriela. Number three, do we have Gabriela here? Creo que ya no sigue por aquí. So let's go with Sarai. Sarai, number three is for you. So get ready, Sarai. Let's play it. I'm not going to school today. I've got to see the dentist. My tooth is really bothering me. Oh, that's too bad. What do you think, Sarai? A toothache or a cold? Uh, sorry, teacher. I, I don't... I, I have so bad sound for the rain. Ah, okay, it's raining. Don't worry, Sarai. 
Then let's go with Marlene. Are you there, Marlene? Number three. Where a, a tube. Very good. A tube A, right? He's going to visit the dentist. Now, number four is going to be for Manuel. Let's play number four. My tooth is really bothering me. Oh, that's too bad. Four. I think I'll stay in bed today. I think I hurt myself carrying those bags on the weekend. My back is killing me. Can I give you a massage? Maybe that will help. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll try anything. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mamet? He has a package. Very good. He has a back ache. And now, number five is going to be for, let's see, Anna Kandrai. Get ready, Anna. Number five is for you. Five. How do you feel? Sorry, I can't talk. Let me get you some hot lemon tea. That should help. Thanks. So what do you think, Anna? What, does, what is the problem? What's wrong? Letter B. Very good. That is correct, Anna. A sore throat. And now the last one. Number six is going to be for Bunny. So get ready, Bunny. Number six is for you. Six. I need to go to the drugstore. I have a bad cold and <laughs> my head is all stuffed up. Oh, that's too bad. I hope you feel better soon. What do you think, Bunny? It's a cold. Banner, what do you think? Cold. A cold. Very good. A cold. Amazing job, guys. So that was the listening. Some people describing their health problems, right? Hey, now. <laughs> We are going to do some activities. Okay, so you are going to look at the picture and you are going to tell me what's the matter, okay? So let's begin with Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, look at the picture. What's the matter, Juan Antonio? Juan Antonio? Guys, can you hear me? It's raining in my house, so I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you, Miss. You can? Yes. Okay, thank you. So let's begin with, let's go with you, Ivania. What's the matter? What do you think? He has fever. A fever, very good. Now, number two is four. Manuel, what do you think, Manuel? What's the matter? He has um, a package. Look at it, he's like this. And, um, post. He has a cold, cold. Very good. He's cold, right? Cold, okay. yes. Very good. Teacher. Tell me, my It's It's raining. It's raining here. If, if I have a problem with the um, audio to listen, well, sorry. It's okay. I, no, try to, I try to listen. Okay. It's raining work. very hard. Same in my house is training, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to move to a different place because. Thank 
Hello guys, sorry. I had to move to a different place because the rain is very hard. So let's continue. And let's see, let's go with, let me ask Sarai, what's the matter? What do you think? Look at this, what's the matter? Sarai Martinez, what's the matter? What do you think? He's like, Okay, then let me ask. Let's see, let's see. Let's go with Jasmine. What's the matter? Look at the picture. What do you think? Either a cold. A cold. Very good. Now, number four. This one is for, let's see. Juan Antonio, what's the matter? Look at the picture. What is the matter? Juan Antonio, what do you think? Okay, let me ask Marlene. What's the matter, Marlene? There are C, headache. Headache, very good. That is correct. A headache, right? Now, look at this one. Let's go with Jasmine. What do you think, Jasmine? What's the matter? Jasmine, yes. No. Yes. yes. Yes, Jasmine, what's the matter? Little baby, it's stomach. Very good, a stomach ache. Now, let's see, this one is for Ivania, what's the matter? Uh, she has a toothache. A toothache, very good. Now, number seven is for Anna Kandrai. What's the matter, Anna? Look at the picture. What's the problem? Running nose. Letter D. Very good. Letter D. A runny nose. Now, Manuel, what do you think? What's the matter? What's wrong? Or Karina, what's the matter? What do you teacher, think? Teacher, teacher, it's here, it's here. Okay, teacher. tell me, Manuel. What's the matter, Manuel? Letter A. A, very good. A back A. Now, let's see, let's see, we are done with the health problem. And now in this one, in this one, you are going to tell me if it is true or false. So let's see, let's begin with Karina, Karina. Which one do you want, Karina? One, two, three. Number eight. Number? Number eight. Eight, very good. So, Karina, a stomachache. True or false? It's false. Very good. Look at that. That is correct. That is a headache. Now, let me ask. Sarai, which one do you want, Sarai? Four. Four, very good. What do you think, true or false? 
is good. True, very good. A backache, right? Now, let's see. Marlene, which number do you want? Seven. Very good. So, a cop. True or false, Marlene? False. False, very good. And what is this, Marlene? Do you remember the health problem? Fever. Fever, very good, Marlene. Perfect. That is a fever. Now, let me ask. Ivania, which number do you want? Number two. Two? Very good. So, true or false, Ivania? It's true. True, very good. A cough, right? Now, let's go with... Jasmine, what do you think? Which number do you want? Six. Very good. So, true or false? False. False. Very good. We are only missing four numbers. So, let's go with Bane. Which number do you want, Bane? Mm -hmm. Five. Which one? Five. Nice. Very good. <laughs> An earache. True or false, Bunny? Mm. <laughs> True. True. Very good. An earache. Now, Anna, what do you think, Anna? One, three, or five? True or false, Anna? True. Very good. That is true. And finally, let's see, Manuel. One or three? Three, teacher. Very good. So, Manuel, a cold. True or false? True. Very good. That is true. And the last one. Let's see. The last one is going to be four. The last one is the teacher. <laughs> okay, let's do the last one. So, a temperature. Look at this. That would be false, right? Because he has a runny nose. Runny nose. Okay. And very That's good job, good. guys. A runny nose, for example, when you have the flu or a cold, you have a runny nose, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. And let's see. The last activity, because this is a speaking class, I'm going to ask you some questions and you have to speak as much as possible, guys. So let's begin. So I'm going to show you one card and you are going to answer the question. So let's begin with Manuel, Manuel, how is the health care in El Salvador? What do you think? Health care is like, is Unidad de Salud. What do you think? How is the health care in, in El Salvador? Good or bad or so-so? So-so because in, in our country, we have a lot of problems with that. Um, uh, healthcare because, for example, uh, security uh, for the people that uh, cotizantes for the how I what can uh, say cotizantes cotizantes. Just give me one second. Let me look. Oh, aporte, aporte, digamos, aporte. 
I don't know if there is a word like that, cotizante. So you can use this word. Contributors. 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 For example, in this country, all people that we we work or we have a job and contribute in the security, but the, the tension is very bad, very bad. Uh, the many many times uh, uh, people go to that, and but they don't medicine or. Adequada. So you can That's say a correct medicine, Aya. Mm -hmm. uh, the the doctor they don't they don't give a, a correct medicine. It's very for me is is bad. The public uh, healthcare, but yes. private is 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 different. Is so so. Is so so right? Or also in the public healthcare, um, the appointments they leave it like two or three months, right? So that makes it even worse. Very good, Manuel. Thank you so much for sharing. Very good participation. And now let's see. Let's continue with more questions. This one is going to be for. Karina, let's see, Karina. Have you ever had a medical emergency? Have you ever had an emergency that you had to go to the hospital very fast? Maybe it was with, uh, with you or a family member? Uh, yes, I remember when my son was very younger because he, he broke the arm and he broke, mm -hmm. he broke the arm and I can go to the hospital room and the doctor uh, este, how do you say le hizo uno para el aquí? so X-ray. Okay, the doctor did an X-ray, and they are very broke. And but it's not more. It's not bad because uh, in the in the in the same day, in the the same day, in the in the day, uh, I have to say a lot. You can say he got out. Okay, he got out of the hospital because the los huesos hicieron que el mismo día. The bones, los huesos. The huesos, es el los huesitos hicieron que el mismo día. So the bones, you can say the bones. The bones recovered. The bones recovered. Okay, very, okay, and let's see, let me ask you, and how old was your kid when that happened? He uh, was, he was, ah, no, he did Tenguando. Okay, and how old was he? How old? Maybe eight how years old? He was a he was six years old. Six years old. He was very little. That that is a hard story, but very good, very good job sharing. Thank you, Karina. I can imagine. He was very, very little. Now this one is going to be for let's see, Ivania. Ooh. 
Let's see. So Ivania, people sometimes say that lobster is the best medicine. What do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Um, I have heard that love is something important to uh, to mental health um, that can improve our our well being because when you when when we face um, some difficult problems with good attitude uh, we can overcome some situations um, in a good way and because um, many people um, get anxiety or something like that so they they have to visit the doctor and and they recommend to go out um, uh, to talk with with uh, their family and share share good times with them. So I think uh, when we laugh with family with friends is good for us. Very good, Ivania. Amazing for patient that is true laughter can help to avoid problems like you mentioned anxiety or depression things like that very good Ivania thank you so much and let's see let's go with Jasmine what do you think Jasmine what foods are good for your health um in general, the yes. vegetable and protein with fish, chicken, and maybe pork, beef, so so, and the the gumbers, mm -hmm. and the grains are so good. Very good, Jasmine. Um, the, the most important is the fish, because the fish has many nutrients, vitamins, and benefits for the health. Very good, Jasmine. That is true. Amazing participation. Fish is really important. It's a very, very healthy meat. And Jasmine, how often do you eat fish? For example, I eat fish. I don't know, maybe once a month or not even once a month. How often do you eat fish, Jasmine? I eat fish uh, maybe once a month because it's difficult uh, buy fish in the in the market because it's not fresh. If I want fresh fish, I need to go to to Tiendona or go to the Libertad. Well, or, exactly. Uh, the distance. The fish more uh, common. The most is, common? The most common is the Sudapia. But uh, uh, its flower is. is no good, really. I don't like it. tilapia. I don't like mojarra. Entonces, it's so difficult to eat fish regularly, frequently. Yes, that is true, Justin. It's difficult. Me too. Maybe I eat fish once every two or three months because it's hard to find fresh fish, like you said. Very good participation. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, this one is going to be for Bane. Bane, do you take vitamins, Bane? Yes, I take vitamins. And what kind, what type of vitamins do you take, Bane? Um, 
eh, hay eh, inyectadas, no sé cómo se dice. Um, through, sorry, through a vaccine. Um, ah, okay. with a vaccine uh, I, with a vaccine uh, vaccine for uh, cada tres meses every every <laughs> every three months Vitamin eh, complejo B. Mm -hmm. So let's say vitamin B. Vitamin B. Okay, very good. And, mm -hmm. and that vitamins, what are the benefits? The benefits? Eh, benefits eh, 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 si para el sistema nervioso. Eh, For the nerve. For nervous system, for nervous system, mm -hmm. eh, eh, circulatory system. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Eh, eh, para um, eliminar estrés. Reduce stress. Reduce stress. Very good, Vane. Amazing participation. So yes. Taking vitamins is very important. Now, who is missing? Let me ask. Let's see. Let's go with Marlene. Marlene, have you ever broken a bone? No. Never. Eh, never. That's good. Same. I have never broken a bone. But a family member? Mm, no. No. Okay, so no. let's find another question. Marlene, what healthy habits do you have? For example, washing your hands before eating. Tell me, healthy habits. Uh, yes, I, I wash my hands when I touch money. Mm -hmm. Uh, I try um, to exercise very good three times in a week. Mm -hmm. um, I try eat uh, food saludable, healthy food. Healthy food, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like uh, comida chatarra. I don't like junk food. Junk food, I don't like junk food. Um, I drink water, much water. And I am, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice evitar? I avoid. Okay, I avoid uh, condiments. Mm -hmm. um, picante, pepper. Oh, or spicy, spicy food. Spicy, yes. And grasses. And oily food. Very good, very good participation, Marlene. Very good habits that you shared. Drinking a lot of water, avoid avoiding junk food, also exercising. Very good job. And finally, let's see who's going to be the last participant. Someone who hasn't participated. Let's see, Sarai. Sarai, have you ever 
stop doing something for your health. For example, let's see. I stopped drinking Coca-Cola because it's not good for me. So, have you ever stopped doing something for your health, Sarai? Um, I stopped uh, work, work so much. How? Working? Yes, because I... I was estaba. Yes, I was. I was uh, nervous tip, tips because I I worked at the day mm -hmm. and and at night. So day and night. Yes. And every day? Um, sometimes uh, when, when I, I, did, I don't have, I didn't think. Um, when I, I was sleeping, so sleeping, mm -hmm. I, I don't work. But if I... If I, si podía, trabajaba. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, if I could. If I could, okay. Very good. Y thank you so much for sharing, Sarai. And thank you, everybody. You did a good job. Just a couple of things before we go. When you want to say, no podía, I didn't can, let me ask. Let's see. Karina, I didn't can. Is that correct? No. What is the correct way? Do you remember? No podía. I couldn't. Very good. I couldn't. So keep in mind, guys, when you want to talk in the past, instead of saying I didn't can, we use I couldn't. Or like this is the complete form. For example, I could not run. This is an example. No podía correr. I could not run. Okay, so you did a very good job, guys. And before you go, do you have any question or everything was fine? No question, teacher. Sure. Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, guys, thank you for joining. You did a very, very good job. And remember, to finish the platform, you can do it and see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Take care. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you. Good, Good night. night, guys. Bye-bye.